This video covers installing a crank scraper on my LS1. Some dyno tests show that crank scrapers increase horsepower by about 1 to 2%. The first step is to clean the scraper and the windage tray. I found a few angel hair burrs on mine, so make sure to inspect the scraper very carefully and get rid of any burrs that it might have. Since I'm using factory main cap bolts, I installed the included washers on the four outer studs. Place the scraper on the main caps. Install the locking nuts and snug the scraper down. Once snugged up, make sure that every part of the rotating assembly clears the crank scraper with a minimum of 25 thousandths. This is critical as the last thing that you want is a connecting rod smashing into the scraper. Torque the lock nuts down. Install the windage tray and button head bolts. And of course, I used orange Loctite on these bolts. I accidentally installed the oil pickup nut, so go ahead and remove it, and then temp install the oil pickup tube. Align the windage tray and torque the button head bolts down. The next part is installing the oil pickup tube. There's more than one O-ring used in different LS applications. My F-body oil pickup tube has a straight end on the pickup so the melling black o-ring is the correct one. Picking the wrong o-ring will net you zero oil pressure and a destroyed engine. This other dirty pickup tube is from an LQ4 truck engine. It has a grooved end that would use the larger green melling o-ring just as an example. With the correct o-ring installed, put the oil pickup tube on the engine. I'm using the ICT billet double bolt pickup bracket, since this engine will be raced quite a bit, I don't want the pickup tube lifting off the oil pump. Tighten down the pickup tube bolts to eight pound feet, and of course I used a little bit of orange Loctite. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for updates on new videos and projects.